We ran an experiment last year with uh, planting willow, which we grow on the swale here, where uh, we've grown it previously and sometimes we've put um, like a membrane type mulch down and sometimes we just haven't bothered and just stuck them both in, you know, straight into the ground. And both times they survived and both times they've produced willow. Uh, and it's difficult to know sometimes, you know, what's making the difference and what isn't and so on. So uh, we, last year we decided to run an experiment where we'd run the same variety on the same swale side by side and uh, basically um, run a definitive experiment to show, right, in these situations, you know, in these circumstances, in this context that we're experiencing, is it worth using that mulch? Does it make that much of a difference? I'll show you the results. So these are the ones that were just taken as sticks about that far and they were just shoved straight into the ground. You can see there's, uh, there's grasses, there's, you know, all sorts of stuff, you know, plenty of competition. And I don't think many have failed. I think most of them have taken. I, I you know, having a bit of a, a shove around, I can't. Yeah, see, that's just, you know, sappy growth from another thing. There's no sticks that have obviously failed. I think most of them have taken. Uh, and they've done quite well. Last year was fairly dry. Uh, nothing did spectacularly. Um, but, you know, not bad. They've mostly taken. Um, so, you know, I'm quite pleased with that. But next door with the mulch, <laughs> they've put two, three times as much height on. Um, it's, yeah, a fairly dramatic difference. Actually, no, that's an unfair example. That's one that was already existing there. But these, for example, you know, they're, they're, it's a, you know, pretty respectable thicket. Um, so they've done really well. Now, if I had the mulch, I'd always use it, no question, because, you know, the whole point of the other day is produce biomass so that uh, we can, you know, can burn it or sell it or whatever. But if you haven't got mulch, they still grow, they just don't grow quite as quickly. So it's definitely worth doing. Um, you know, it's easy to overthink it and want to get everything perfect. You want to have mulch ground, you want to have it grass free, you want to do all the rest of it. Use decent length cuttings, because a large part of the problem with willow not taking when it's got grass competition is that the grass comes up early out competes the uh willow very early on and just swamps it and it just doesn't you know it, it struggles and it dies back from that point another problem is it gives a lot of protection for things like voles whereas you know trying to come in here even though you know there's no uh, vole guards or anything sort of like that on them anything coming in here to eat versus next door you know obviously it's going to look a lot more like a delicious meal for an owl or a weasel or whatever out here than in there where it's got a chance of hiding so, you know, there's another factor as well, but yeah, in terms of growth, um, there's no disputing this is definitely the way to go, but I'm also quite pleased with the ones that have just done it anyway, just a stick shoved in the ground. So it's easy to overthink it. Most important thing is that we grow willow.